Channel 9, Washington's number one newscast, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bob Altage. I'm J.C. Hayward. NASA says the liftoff is now scheduled for June 1st. The space agency blames the delay on computer failure and questions about fuel line temperature sensors. The postponement was not only a disappointment for NASA officials, but also two high school students in Arlington. Wade Franklin and Matthew Zace were due to fly to Cape Canaveral in a NASA jet as part of Star 21 project. This project offers special treatment to selected area students during space shuttle launches. Frank Bond reports. Take that color slip, good. Roger that looks of course we were ready to go yesterday we'd packed and everything else and ready to go down there but to come up to come to school and find out we're not going you know, it's pretty disappointing I was pretty much expecting it because the shuttle's been postponed a lot lately <laughs> okay Matt Zace what's another For the problem? last week 16 year old Matthew Zace and 17 year old Wade Franklin have been preparing to head south for the launching of Columbia each okay. time there's a shuttle launch NASA hosts two area students and an educator for VIP treatment in Florida this time around, Arlington County Public Schools got to do the picking. Washington Lee High School was the choice, and astronomy teacher Tom Walden picked Wade and Matthew. Supernovas are also a good distance indicator. These two students were chosen on the basis of their academic performance in astronomy over a two-year period of time. I had both of these students in Earth Space Science last year, which is the predecessor to my astronomy class. And both students did real well there. They were both very enthusiastic, and both of these are the hardest working students I have. Minus 10, 9, 8. NASA's Star 21 project is designed to promote scientific and math literacy among students and teachers. Matthew and Wade, upon arrival at Cape Canaveral, will get to visit the shuttle launch site before liftoff. They'll get a pre-launch briefing and get to watch the actual liftoff from a special vantage point. Wade and I couldn't believe it. He asked me where the camera was, but I, we couldn't believe it. Because um, no one, the students aren't offered kind of this kind of experience. I was just honored to be picked to go on a program. There's other students in my class that are qualified to go also, and I was just happy to be chosen to go. Space is a tremendous motivator to get kids to choose careers along those lines. Stephen so, Smith is the planetarium specialist for Arlington County Public Schools. He also will be accompanying Matthew and Wade to Cape Canaveral. I'd kind of like to see our country renew its uh, enthusiasm for the space program. And uh, these kids are going to be kind of uh, free will ambassadors when they get back. So they're, uh, we're hoping that they'll talk to their other uh, friends and, and uh, kind of maybe generate some spontaneous enthusiasm for the program and it will form an eclipse over Matthew here. and Wade are, are both straight-A students in astronomy, but both say they haven't okay. decided if they want to make aerospace a career. Okay, that's They're right. hoping the trip to Florida will give them better insight into the profession. Frank Bond, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Matthew and Wade say they're scheduled to take the SATs the same day Columbia is supposed to lift off, but they say they'll skip the test if Columbia still go for June 1st. Two students and an educator from Anne Arundel will be NASA's guest for the next shuttle launch. Well, we'll get some uh, summertime weather for the rest of the week. Doug Hill and uh, Bill Kamal will have the forecast in just a moment.